Okay, guys, just before I start this video, I'm just going to say if I talk really, really loud, make sure to turn down the volume or anything like that because, guys, I am so freaking hyped right now. You guys have no idea, but let's start off with the video. Yo, what's going on guys? It is Pokemon Ranger Flame here and guys I am bringing you incredible incredible news right now So if you guys know I did a video not too long ago about the databases of the Pokemon So when every new episode comes out it shows kind of a Pokemon that represents that episode or what's gonna be uh, Like mean for the episode or anything like that and today guys We just brought a whole bunch of news right now a whole bunch of new titles and everything like that coming out And I am so 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 excited for this and you guys know yeah, So there's new images that have just been released right now and the episodes as well. I'm gonna name off the episode names and then I'm gonna go through these pictures uh, kind of frame by frame right here and talk all about it. So on August 11th, X, Y, and Z, episode 37, the finals, Ash versus Alon. So it's already been confirmed, but we already know like it's been confirmed that Ash will beat Shota and go to the final, but it just actually like confirmed with Japan and the anime that Ash, after 19 long years, guys, ever since 1998, Ash has finally been in the call city. I'm not counting the Orange Islands or the Battle Frontier or anything like that. Like, actually a league. And it's so hyped, finally. Like, all the haters in that out there are, like, I understand if, like, he sucks and then becomes at, like, 8th place or anything like that. And is never in the finals or anything like that. But he has a solid freaking team now and actually has a chance to win the league. Uh, but on August 18th, X, Y, and Z, episode 38, Call us League victory, Ash's ultimate match that just proves it right there in the title guys that just proves it right there like i'm putting 100 percent of my money into this that he went to league right here Carlos league victory Carlos league victory ash's ultimate match like you can't put a name like that if he doesn't win the league like that is so so cool thank you pokemon finally he actually does it like i know that i'm over like exaggerating like you can't really tell unless the episode comes out but i'm putting 100 percent of my money into this right now that he does win it like that title just right there is so hyped but after right here august 25th x y and z episode 39 team flare attacks the zygarde at the prism tower so they're finally making their move right there it is going to be so amazing and there's a lot of images that show that, that i'll be talking about as well but let's uh kind of put it up with the first uh image now right here even though if you guys already seen them but i'm going to kind of talk about them right here so the first image right here, of course, we should just see Ash right down the left, and then Pikachu just kind of jumping up there on the right. On the bottom left right there, we see a uh, Team Flare. Uh, usually, that's where they keep like, the Zygarde cells or the blue uh, Zygarde icon uh, in there as well. You kind of see like a dark picture of them right there. And then this, the other one right here, I'm not really sure if this is going to be to shoot this battle or just going to be to a launch battle, but of course, we see all of Ash's Pokemon getting hyped up right there, which is awesome. Like, just look at that squad, man. It's like literally the best squad ever right there like that's his best team he has ever had before like Sinnoh was really really great and so is of course Kanto in that but this one is just amazing with just Pikachu, Talonflame, Noivern, Hulacha, Gudra, and then Greninja aka Ash Greninja. Uh, but next, pi next picture right here which is very very cool and I love this picture so much right here so if you guys know i'll put it on the screen right now when ash kind of versus wolf freak for the second time when he was kind of looking up and it had like that blue aroma with uh wolf freak and a bomb of snow and then when ash became ash green ninja you kind of have a red thing right there just look at this picture right here of ash and ash green ninja that is just absolutely incredible i cannot wait to see like the anime of that the animation just looks so beautiful and so amazingly done just thank you so much japan and the anime for getting people like this is what shows need to be now throughout night of day is to get people hyped when the episode has not even been out yet like this is still a month guys this is still a month and the hype is real this is like waiting for like a, like a big video game to drop off right now except this is just one episode or episodes which is amazing they've done such a good job on this uh next image right here we're looking at though is so so cool so i'm guessing this is my going to be the final right here of like ash and uh Al alan are going to be having one pokemon left of course we see mega charizard x right there and then greninja holding his water shuriken right there uh, i think it's like a thunder punch he's going off for right now but that is just so cool man like alon and ash in the finals right there like i just ash freaking win please 
for the fans or anything like that. But we also have information as well, guys, that of course we've, it's been a six on six battle. You, you know, when it's usually top six of the league, you have to bring out six Pokemon, but when you're starting a league, it's only three. But right now, of course, the only information we had about Alon was of course he had Charizard and that he had Metagross, but he had a Metain, but of course evolved into a Metagross. And we didn't know what his four Pokemon was. Well, now it's just been confirmed, sorry, about his two Pokemon right here. So of course we see Weavile and we see a Tyranitar, man. Two freaking strong Pokemon right there. Like a Weavile, a Tyranitar, a Metagross, and a Charizard, man. Like how OP is that? Like that is another amazing team right there. We don't even know his other two Pokemon yet, but that is just so, so sick uh, going out right there. Of course, we have Pikachu versus against Tyranitar. Like Tyranitar, you gotta win that, man, just because like Tyranitar, like Pikachu, we get you're strong, but I don't think you can be a Tyranitar like that by yourself, buddy. And of course, we see double team going right there with uh, uh, Weavile, which is very, very cool. Next image, guys, are kind of going to the Right of this image, sorry, we have actually uh, Greninja, of course, battling Mega Sceptile, and this is another cool one right here of Mega Sceptile using his Leap Blitz, and then we have his kind of Water Kunai right there of Ash Greninja, which is really, really badass, and they're kind of versing it right there. I'm guessing it's going to be the like, same thing against the Lawn Battle, like they're going to be down one Pokemon each, and this is going to be like the final like Frontier or something like that right there. Next image we have uh, down below is actually a Salamence. So of course we have uh, when Ash and uh, Shota had their second battle. Of course Shota had a Shell Gun and now evolved into a Salamence, which is very very cool. And then just a little picture of that. Of course we see him with the slacking there and then Shota there like kind of having like kind of a serious face, which is very very cool. Next image right here is a Team Flare arc, which I really want to talk about more into this and kind of is very very scary. So of course now uh, we have uh, Lysander right there, which is giving like that rape face like he just looks so freaking creepy like <laughs> i'm better than anybody else but i have such a creepy ass face and i think i'm cool no you're not uh, and then next image down below which is actually very very cool as well i'm gonna be guessing like they're gonna show this like right when ash uh gets into the battle with alone or maybe like it's a team flare arc when he wins it but we have actually ash uh and lysander right here actually talking which is very very interesting right now i'm guessing like he's gonna be talking about alone like he's like kind of like a strong like uh, Pokemon trainer and everything like that and Ash like totally agrees but then uh, of course like uh, last center might be just be playing Ash of course we got that creepy scientist right behind him or that right beside him sorry that uh, yeah he's weird and fat but anyway we have the other one where Ash is just getting news reported right there but of course the elite four member uh, and all, all that good shit probably going to the finals. Other one right there, of course, with the Elite Four member and uh, Lysander there working together. And dude, I just, I hate her now, man. How do you, how do you call yourself an Elite Four when you're on the EVO team? God, I hope she gets fired or some shit like that. Uh, sorry for my language or anything like that. Uh, I don't really think you guys care. But anyway, uh, more damage uh, down below. Of course, we just see Mega Evolution and everything like that. Uh, next image we see right here, I'm guessing this is going to be versus in the Alon battle or maybe some Shota battles. I'm not really too sure about these images. So, of course, we have Ash and Ash Greninja right there. We have Hulacha actually versus uh, Weavile. So, of course, it's already been confirmed uh, against Hulacha and Weavile of the Ash uh, and, of course, a long battle. Other one is Guja right there. And it looks like it's like... I kind of like a, a win attack when I Guja right now, maybe versing against like Salamence or something like that against Shota. Of course, we had Talonflame right there, and we've already known that seen through the preview. That's a Shota match in the Pikachu right above Talonflame right there. That's uh, against uh, Aegis Slash of the Shota battle. And then the Noivren right there, uh, I don't really know uh, what he's do. Uh, if that could be the long battle or that could be the Shota battle. I'm not really too sure. But a cool picture of Noivren right there. And then the last image right here that we got is very, very, very crazy. So this is a Team Flare attack right here that, of course, a lot of people have been uh, explaining or everything like that, like coming up, like this is the final of X and Y and Z or the Colossal, or Colossus in general. So of course, we had to leave for the creepy ass scientist right there. And then we have Lysander. And then right above him, of course, we have Zygarde 50%. And then we have Zygarde 100 percent right there. That just looks absolutely cool. And I'm gonna be guessing through that just because you know we've already seen at the starting of the song of Pokemon X, Y, and Z, we see 100 percent Zygarde form and Bonnie. And then uh, right underneath that we see Ash like kind of freaked out with Pikachu. And then we have of course Clement Mad. We got uh, Serena and Bonnie worried. And then we have Alon right here, which is very very cool. So the thing about Alon that I kind of knew about this was I think that he kind of worked for Team Flare to kind of like actually like help everything out. Like he's like a good guy, but uh, of course like he's being used about this. So in this picture right here. 
here, you could totally tell like he's a good guy and he's like working with Ash to defeat Team Flair like he was used this whole time and everything like that. And now he kind of wants to get like that revenge mode, which is great. And you know, you kind of have to do it, get that as well. Like you've been used this whole entire time, you know, to save your friend and that, but really it's been for nothing. It's been to destroy uh, Kalos in general. And of course we see a 50% Zygarde form, but red. So this is the one that, you know, the, of course the blue icon that, um, Team Flyer had before there, or with Alon uh, taking down that uh, Zygarde 50% form with Mega Charizard uh, that time, and he's kind of like turned evil, and that's what's helping Team Flyer do this. And that's the very background there, I don't know if you guys could see that, but it's like kind of right behind Alon and Clement right there. That's actually Lumio City that has that's been infected right now. So we you know we've seen a couple episodes already when uh, Diantha is talking with the group before she versus Ash, uh, that little island that got trapped, and then when. Uh, Officer Jenny and those guys try to look ahead and see what's wrong and like those like like what they started coming right after them and that's what's happening in Lumio City right there like the destruction and everything like that which is very 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 scary but you know of course you know Ash and the gang are gonna pull through that and everything like that but guys hopefully you all enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching that is just it's just nuts like it's just nuts like it's this is what I love about shows so much and what they're doing so good about the anime like that this anime right now is getting very very close to the Indigo League right now like ever since like 1998 they canceled the league which you guys probably know about like this like it's getting up there like I think it's gonna be tied right now I'm gonna do my full review and everything like that uh, when this uh, anime of course is over and I'll like discuss like what's like my top like uh, anime or seasons of Pokemon right here and everything like that but hope you guys are as hyped as I am it is so so awesome hopefully I could bring you guys this news as quick as I possibly can uh, more videos here to come uh, this week and guys we are actually tomorrow is going to be the Volcanion movie so or uh, they're actually going to be showing it tonight on the Tokyo live stream so I definitely if I do another video tonight I'll put it down in the description below so you guys can go check that out as well instead of just waiting for my video or you know I'll post it uh, later tonight or I will be posting it tomorrow but hope you guys are hyped to that as well. It's literally like Pokemon summer right now. It is absolutely incredible. But thank you guys really from the bottom of my heart. Uh, much love, guys. And Pokemon Ranger Flame out. Peace.